Megatron. Please give me a strength to break the world record today. And if you don't, I'll give you coming atheist. Amen. Hey, welcome to Bratislava. Today's record is fastest marathon dressed as a nun. So the record is three hours and 17 minutes. So I know you can't see the full outfit, so I'll put a photo in here so you can see it. Uh, it's a little cold right now, but it's going to warm up later, but I've got the headgear to keep me warm anyway. This is a two-lap course, so you got a half marathon as well, which I think a majority of these people win, so there'll definitely be a lot less people in the second lap during the full marathon. Tato Massa, new Meridian League, best Yeren Stein! I was going to put a safety pin on my cross. So it doesn't bounce around too much, but I forgot and it keeps on bouncing off my sternum, which is kind of annoying. The good thing is, we've got two paces here, so that means I don't have to worry about taking photos every two kilometers. So as long as I stay with them for the whole race, that's all the verification I need for the Guinness. Time flies when you're running off the paces. Already 12k in, but uh, this clothing's getting a little bit hot, so it's getting it worse when it gets. Hot it when it continues to hot up later on, but uh, shouldn't be too bad. Like, it's, it's a top of 20, 20 degrees today, but that's not well into the afternoon, so I'm sure it'll be maybe 16 or so uh, by the end of the race. Alright, uh, she's gonna thin out now because the uh, half marathon is going to the finish, and we're taking a left up here. Now, this course is incredibly dangerous. You see behind me, there's holes in the ground. It's like that everywhere. One guy, uh, look, there you one right there. You have to keep your eyes open. But, uh, my legs are feeling really heavy. So uh, I thought I'd be feeling better by this point. So it's a little bit of a struggle to hold it for three, three paces, but play first will be right for the rest of the race if I just push it a little bit. Uh, still hanging in there. It's pretty windy at the moment, so we've got a headwind right now, but a little further up here, we're going to do a U-turn and go back down that way, so uh, get a little bit of tailwind for a while. I forgot how long that straight was, where the headwind was coming right at me. But with the tailwind now, but tailwind never feels like you have a wind at all, and when you go into a headwind, it always feels really tough. But it's around about 10 kilometers to go right now, and it's a bit of a struggle, so it's gonna be tough to try and hang on. Uh, 5k to go. It's been a struggle, but I've still got a little bit left in the tank, so it should be okay. The worst thing about doing a race like this in a country where I don't speak English, you can't hear what the crowd's yelling out to you about your stupid costume. I'm sure there's been loads of funny comments, but I had no idea what they were saying. So I had a little bit more left than I thought, so I managed to get in there at 3.15. Could have possibly gone fractionally faster, but I think uh, that was pretty much my limit for today. I was thinking before the race, because it's two uh, three-hour paces, maybe I should go with them, but that would have been probably a little bit too tough today. But I uh, got the record only by two minutes, but uh, still beat it, so that's all good. Uh, the Bratislava Marathon actually give a, a free coupon. You can go to, I think there's three options, but one of them is the zoo. So that's right near where I am and I want to see some animals. So I'm going to go walk around there and that can be my cool down. But uh, before we end this video, let's say a prayer. God, thank you for giving me the world record today. The threat's still there. If I don't get the world record next week, that's it. I'm becoming an atheist. Amen.